All right, so you're comfortable with coordinate direction angles. Now let's talk about spherical angles. So coordinate direction angles was well, easy. You just use cosines. You just said f equals f u, and u is cosine alpha f is cosine beta j is cosine gamma k, and you, you, you organize your problems like that. Spherical angles are a little bit harder, and at first you've got to notice that you are given spherical angles. All right, remember that coordinate direction angles were the angles from the vector to the coordinate axes. You know, the, those are the angles from the vector to the um, x-axis, from the vector to the y-axis, from the vector to the z-axis. Sometimes you can be given angles like this. See that that gamma right there, so, so, if, so if this is your vector right here, right, this a vector is your main vector, and they give you some angles, uh, they give you that gamma, yes, that gamma is the angle to z. That is a coordinate direction angle. This gamma is the angle between the vector and the z-axis. You can treat that one like a coordinate direction angle. You can just use cosine, all right? But then sometimes I'll give you this angle that it doesn't hit the vector. It goes from an, a coordinate axis to this uh, shadow on the floor, all right? So this down here, the shadow on the floor is its projection. So sometimes they'll give you the angle between the x-axis and the projection of the vector onto the xy plane or, or the floor. I like to think of it as a shadow on the floor. All right, that angle Theta is not a coordinate direction angle. You can't just use all, all your cosines. All right, so this is what I do. Uh, there's, here's my process. Step one is I take this vector and I use my gamma and I break it up into the Z component right here and the projection on the floor. All right, and that is, it. can you think about that? Put a sheet of paper right there on that. That is just a 2D problem. That's just a 2D problem. If this angle is, let's say this is 30, then that means it is, is 60. Um, I can just use, uh, you, you could even draw, you know, uh, up here. So this kind of goes uh, higher. Um, you can kind of draw up here, and this is the same as that. Uh, anyway, it's a 2D problem. And so, step one, I would say that my z component would be a cosine gamma, and the projection down here, a fxy, would be a sine gamma. All right? So that's step one, is think about it as a 2D problem, break it up into its z component and break it up into its floor component. Then take this floor component and, 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 and break it up into its two components. Got it? Right. Take this and break it up into its x component would be this right here, a sine gamma times, if that's theta, this component would be cosine theta, and then the y component would be this, right? And then I would use sine of theta to its components. It's really two 2D problems, okay? Now, don't memorize these equations because uh, sometimes they might not give you gamma, they might give you this angle. Sometimes they might give you the angle to x, sometimes they might give you the angle to y. So don't memorize these. Just memorize the process. What's the process? So, so look, look here. This is what I'm thinking. First, it's a 2D problem of breaking F into F, sorry, FZ and FXY. Then it's another 2D problem breaking F Z uh, into F. Sorry. Okay. It's a 2D problem to break F into the Z component and the XY component. Then you take that XY component and break it up into X and Y. And then you've got your Z component, you've got your X component, you've got your Y component, and you can 
um, do that. Okay? Now, that's the process. Don't memorize it. Just think about it as two two-dimensional problems. But you've got to recognize that you are given spherical angles. Do you see that those are spherical angles? I think you'll get to recognize it. Let me show you. All right, I've, I've posted this. Just the difference. Do you see the difference between quarter direction angles and spherical angles and dimensions? Do you see that th th these vector, these angles are to the vector to the axes, whereas you see that 45 degree angle right there? That is not touching the vector. That is not a quarter direction angle. That's a spherical angle. See that angle right there? That is a um, spherical angle. And of course, dimensions, you aren't given any angles, you're just given some dimensions. Let's go to the next page. You see that these are quarter direction angles. They're touching the vector, touching the axis, touching the vector, touching the axis, touching the vector, touching the axis, touching the vector, touching the axis. Here, that 60 is not is, is from the axis to the projection. From the axis to the projection. Now, this book, can't you see how the sh shading kind of helps you give you a hint? Sometimes they're not always shaded like that. Um, and then the, the dimensions, of course, you see all those dimensions. So you got to recognize that they are spherical angles. But, you know, right now we're in the spherical angle um, um, section. So we know they're spherical angles. But later on, we're going to kind of group them all together. And you, you won't know. You need to recognize that they are spherical angles.